The mighty Tugela, KwaZulu Natal's largest river, cuts through the pristine bushland of the north coast, dividing two communities within the Umlalazi and Umapumulo municipalities. Residents of these communities are faced not only with the constant risk of flash flooding, but are also forced to traverse the treacherous crocodile-infested waters daily by boat in order to access basic services such as schools and clinics. Sadly, a number of lives, including children, have been lost to the ravenous Tugela. The project team, comprised of the client, the KwaZulu Natal Provincial Department of Transport, the engineer, Naidu Consulting, and the contractor, Umso Construction. The client's brief was to develop an economical, low environmental impact engineering solution that would be able to accelerate the construction process with no piers in the river. These site constraints necessitated a 210 metre long dual lane vehicular bridge about 20 metres above the riverbed with the main span of 50 metres straddling the Tugela River. The depth of the bedrock allowed the bridge to be founded on spread footings. However, the fissures in the bedrock had to be sealed up by pressure grouting using 16,000 litres of cementitious grout. The structural solution was found in modular construction comprising of a composite structural steel truss and reinforced concrete slab deck. This ensured a limited construction impact and up to 70% less concrete in the deck, boasting a reduced carbon footprint for future sustainability. The modular construction allowed for the deck truss sections of up to 50 meters in length and 3.5 meters in height to be prefabricated by Churchyard and Ampleby. The advanced corrosion protection system was applied to the trusses, followed by a trial assembly in a rigorously quality controlled environment. The abnormal low transportation route to site was cleared, tracked and approved prior to dispatching the steel trusses on a journey that covered more than 290 kilometers. Once on site, the trusses were assembled on temporary plinths, surveyed, approved and hoisted into position using multiple cranes of up to 440 tonne capacity. The temporary bracing installed ensured that the 150 tonne 50 metre span trusses did not distort during erection. Once in place, the trusses provided the support for the false work and formwork required to cast the concrete slab, thus completing the composite deck section. This solution ensured that spans of up to 50 metres long could be constructed without the constraint of false work and formwork being supported from the riverbed which is so notorious for flash flooding. The project created more than 50 job opportunities, empowering members of the local community. In addition, 30 youth were trained as part of a six-month learnership program, providing practical scare skills to the construction industry. Through a collaborative effort between the client, engineer and contractor, the project will be completed within the allocated time and budget and without any major health and safety incidents, despite the challenges of working at heights of up to 20 metres above the ground. The often devastating effects of crossing the mighty together during flooding will be a nightmare of the past for learners and members of the adjacent communities.